Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to check whether a number is positive, negative or zero. So the objective of this program is written inside this comment. Then I have included a header file stdio.h for printf and scanf. Then main function contains several statements. First is variable declaration, then printf which is showing enter a number message, then scanf which will be uh, reading a number that will be entered by the user then uh, as you all know that those numbers which are greater than zero are known as positive numbers so inside if condition uh, sorry inside if statement i have used a condition n greater than zero so if this n number is greater than zero then this if condition will be uh, considered as true so it will print number is positive using this printf statement on console if this condition is false then uh, another condition is available inside else which is n less than 0 so if number is less than 0 then printf will print number is negative if this second condition is also false then this else automatically will print number is 0 on console because if number is not positive if it is not negative then it will be automatically 0 so if you want to uh, authenticate this program so we can run this program so first of all compilation for errors or warning so there are zero errors and zero warnings now we can execute this program using run option so here you have to enter a number so i am entering four so i have entered positive number that's why it is showing number is positive Again, I am running this program. Now I am entering a negative number. So it is displaying number is negative. Again, I am running this program. This time I have entered zero. So this showing number is zero. So for all three cases, this program is showing correct results. So with the help of if or else combination, you can easily check whether the entered number is positive negative or zero and i have used else if uh, ladder uh, syntax of if else in this program so you can implement this program on your desktop or laptops so that you can understand the concept behind it thank you for watching this video